In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Timu and how you can use it to your advantage to start finding some untapped products and niches. <gasps> Lately, Timu has been all the rage. They started off as some random company that absolutely nobody heard of. And then from one night to the other, they absolutely just blew up. Somebody stop me. A few things have attributed to this. Primarily their marketing, which they've done absolutely amazingly well. And also the fact that they have some really cheap prices. But we're not going to be sourcing our products from Timu today. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can use Timu to your advantage and leverage the website so you can find some brand new untapped products. Products. Let's get started. This video is going to be all about using Timu for product research. And don't get it twisted. Don't start thinking that this is going to be a basic go on TikTok and search up hashtag TikTok made me buy it video. No, none of that in this video. We're going to be using Timu specifically to find new products. So we're not going to be looking in other websites, at least until it comes time to sourcing. But a little bit more on that later. Let's go ahead and get started. So to start things off, one thing I need to mention is the fact that Timu is not a wholesale dropshipping website. Timu is specifically a retail website geared towards the general public. So realistically speaking, you're not going to be finding pretty much any dropshippers on here. All of the products on here are geared and marketed towards the average consumer. And because of that same exact reason, we're able to use Timu to our advantage to find new products, to find products that are up and coming and really see what's trending, see what people are currently searching for. Now, with that being said, everyone has their own reasons for using whatever supplier it is that they're using. This video, like I mentioned earlier, is going to be focused primarily on using Timu as a product research tool and not a supplier. Now, everyone has their own reasons for using their own suppliers or for not using Timu specifically as their supplier. For one, their dropshipping rules are kind of unclear. They don't necessarily allow dropshippers, but they don't necessarily don't allow dropshippers. Huh? Their rules are a little bit scattered. They're not exactly crystal clear. So some people might just want to avoid potentially getting banned. Others might not like the fact that Timu ships in their own packaging. They are going to ship their packages in either a white or orange bag that specifically says in huge letters, Timu. Now, I know some people don't care about that. Some dropshippers don't care about that. Some customers don't care about that, but some do. And the reason I say that some people don't care about that is because there's been quite a few times, even recently, where I make a purchase from eBay and I receive it in an Amazon package. Again, me personally, it is what it is. At that point, I already purchased it. I'm not going to waste time returning it. But like I said, some customers care, some customers don't. Some drop shippers care, some drop shippers don't. Everyone has their own reasons. And some people might just not necessarily have the trust in the platform. Again, it's a brand new platform. It's getting its criticism from certain parts. Some people love it, some people hate it. At the end of the day, honestly, it's all personal opinion and what you prefer to do. Now, before we continue any further, if you want access to everything that I'm talking about in this video, including all of the different links and tips and tricks, then make sure you request our cheat sheet. In that cheat sheet, I'm going to have everything that I'm talking about in this video in an easy to reference written format. Now, if you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Timu, and let me know what your takeaway is from this video. Do you like Timu? Do you use them as a supplier? Do you not like them as a supplier? And you're actually planning to use them for primarily product research? Whatever it is, what your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and actually start learning how we can use Timu to our advantage. And for that, we're going to need two different apps or Chrome extensions. And the first Chrome extension we're going to use is AliExpress search by image. So we're just going to go ahead and add that to Chrome. And the second extension is going to be image downloader. Now, the reason that we're going to be installing an image downloader is because we're going to be using the images from Timu. Now, Timu's images are so much higher quality than the ones you're going to find on, let's say, AliExpress, where we're actually going to be searching for our products. But if you've been to AliExpress, and I'm pretty sure every single one of you has, you're going to notice that their images aren't necessarily the highest resolution. They're not the clearest and overall they're not the best quality. Timu has some really good crisp and crystal clear images and on top of being able to download them I'm also going to show you how you can make them your own so that way you can stand out from the rest of the crowd and have your own unique images. Everyone's using the same exact images over and over and over and some people are even coming under fire for copyright issues so if you want to stand out from pretty much everyone in the crowd then make sure you keep on watching all the way to the end. So like I said earlier Timu is a website that is geared towards 
retail shoppers. This is geared towards the average consumer and we can use it to be able to learn what people are looking for or what could potentially be an untapped product. Remember that as dropshippers, we want to get a product prior to the hype. So that way we can already have it in our store and ready to sell whenever it does start picking up any hype. Or even then, we can also be the trendsetter by finding new products and then just having other people start to oversaturate that particular product. I know you don't want to hear oversaturation. I know you also don't want to hear the fact that you can find an untapped product, make a good amount of money, but then eventually those sales can kind of start to dwindle because so many other people are going to see the success in it and they're going to try to replicate what you're doing. It's just part of the game. It's just part of the business. That's why we need to consistently keep doing proper product research. Do some research. And with that being said, one of the ways that we can start using Teemu to our advantage and finding untapped products is by checking out these different categories up here. We're also going to do the same thing with the five star rated and new arrivals. Then we're just going to go ahead and click on recommended. The reason we're clicking on that is because you can't open that in a new tab. It just takes you to that part of the website. Now, these are the different pages that we're going to use to actually start looking for new products. And when I say new, I mean new. Look for products that aren't out in the market or look for different variations for products that are out in the market, but a variation that you haven't seen before. Okay. So now I'm scrolling through the five star rated and there's a few products on here that I've seen before. I've seen this little cleaner before I've seen this can or bottle opener before as well, but I haven't seen it being advertised to actually sell before. So let's go ahead and open that in a new tab. Now, aside from that, let's keep scrolling a little bit. And I've definitely have seen this one before. I've seen this quite a good amount of times, an external CD or DVD drive who even uses those anymore. You got shoe glue. This is actually something I haven't seen too often, but this is something that could be very useful. So let's go ahead and open that in the new tab as well. This is actually part of a category of one of the items that we covered in our top 10 products to dropship a car tire inflator, except this one, this one's actually really nice because it's got a digital display. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one as well. Now that's enough for the five star rating. Let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the other spots. So looking under the top best sellers, here's a few things that we can look into. So of course we've seen these pretty much everywhere. USB cables, those we've seen everywhere as well. You got some socks, some seat cushions, which again is another one of the items that we covered in our top 10 products to dropship. Keep scrolling a little bit. You got a video doorbell, a mini printer, which if you're on TikTok, I'm pretty sure you've seen a mini printer. Okay. So I kept on scrolling and I actually came across this right here, which is a magnetic wireless charging power bank. Now we've covered power banks before and we've covered wireless charging, but this is something new. This is actually one that I haven't seen before and I'm definitely going to be checking this one out. Okay. So we actually already found a good amount of products using those two other tabs. So honestly, we don't have to continue looking for any more. Of course, if I was looking to fill up a store or anything in a particular niche, I would be spending a lot more time doing this but since we're pretty much doing this for demonstration purposes i'm only going to check out a couple okay so the first one we're going to take a look at is this wireless fast charging magnetic charging bank as you can see on timu it's actually really cheap it's 15 dollars 82 let's go ahead and check it out on aliexpress now if you remember we installed the extension search by aliexpress so let's go ahead and take advantage of that all we have to do is simply right click on the image then we're going to click on search goods on aliexpress by this image so this is something that's actually really similar to search image with google except instead of scouring the entire web it's going to specifically search in AliExpress. So let's go ahead and check that out. Then it's going to take us to this page, Ali Seeks, where it's going to give us all of the different results. Okay, so this is what it gave us. And there's quite a few different places to source it from. Now, here we have one for $12.72 with a 4.7 star rating. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and check that one out. Then we have another one for $13.89, which actually has a bit more power or a bit more milliamps. So let's go ahead and open that one as well. And then all of the other ones seem to be pretty much more or less the same thing. So let's go ahead and check these two out. So here through AliExpress, we actually have it for $12.72 compared to $15 over at Timu. We actually found it cheaper on AliExpress. That's interesting. But taking a look at the star rating, it has a 4.7 star rating. It has 676 reviews and it has over 4,000 sold. So this right here is telling us that this could potentially be a pretty good or hot buy. There's tons of people that are looking into it. There's tons of people that are actually making the purchase. And as you can see, it's got good reviews. So let's quickly just look over the reviews really fast. Let's see what they have to say. Very well covered. No scratches. 100% new received quickly thank you and they have images good i chose a long time to buy this charging treasure very satisfied this is probably translated but they have pictures of the product itself the seller's service attitude is very good and the products come quickly and another image okay so these are the types of reviews you want to look for you want to look for reviews that are specific to the product and even better if they have images of the product if you find reviews that are way too generic you know reviews that just say thank you or my cousin loved it my dad loved it this is a great product you know things that are very generic don't have images and aren't very specific those you want to 
to be weary of. It doesn't always happen, but every once in a while, people manufacture reviews. So always be on the lookout, do your due diligence, and just remember, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. But these reviews actually look really good. The ratings are good as well. It has 587 positive ones, has a few negative ones, but I mean, what doesn't? So this looks good. It looks like we actually were able to use Timu to find a cheaper product on AliExpress. Now, again, remember, Timu is primarily a retail supplier, so it's going to be kind of hard for some of us to use them as a dropshipping supplier, which is why we're looking for the products on a separate supplier, in this case, AliExpress. Now, remember how I said that Timu has better images than, let's say, AliExpress? Well, just look at this. So for one, I'm hovering over some of these images, and this is actually the closest one to the one that I'm going to download. So as you can see, you only get it within this little square. You can't really see anything. If you go to download it, you can click on save as, but then it downloads it as a web page, which to us is completely useless. We can't use that image. So what we would have to end up doing is simply using a, the snipping tool or whatever other tool you're using if you're using a Mac and taking a little screenshot like this. Now what this does is it gives us a very low quality image. But since we're going to be taking our images from Timu, so what we're going to do is we're simply just going to go ahead and click on our image downloader up here and we're going to look for the image we want to download. In this case, I'm just going to go for this one and I'm gonna hit download. Now, here is how you can make it your own and stand out above the rest with your own images. So the first thing we're gonna do is navigate to firefly.adobe.com. Once we're there, you're gonna simply just go on here where it says generate or scroll down and look for generative fill. Once we're on here, all you have to do is click on generate. Now you are gonna have to have an Adobe account, but once you create that, you can sign in and then upload your image. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload the image that I downloaded. And now is when we can start making the magic happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of this watermark up here. And to do that, we just have to click on this remove button. So let's click on that. And then we're simply gonna highlight up here, the logo, go ahead and click on remove. And after a bit of thinking, it fills it in. Now, the next thing we want to do is remove this background. So we want to make this image a little bit better. We want to make it stand out more. We want to make it look less like everyone else's. So one thing we can do is simply just change the background to something maybe a bit more professional, maybe like a desk or a workspace. So we're going to save this change over here by clicking on keep. Then we're going to stay under remove and we're going to click on background. As you can see, it automatically detected the background and it got rid of it. So now let's go ahead and click on insert. And what we're going to do with insert is we're going to tell a what we want to add in the background. So for this, you're going to have to do a bit of trial and error because AI can get a little bit wonky sometimes. So just try different prompts and see what works best. But from here, I'm just going to put top view of a modern desk with a keyboard and office supplies. Let's see what it makes. All right. So as you can see, the first one that I came up with is actually pretty good. Um, of course, things look a little bit weird, but it's overall pretty good. It has a couple of paper clips, a little plant, a keyboard, some pencils and another paper clip. So as you can see, this already looks completely different than the one that we originally had. But if you don't like that one, there's a few other options for you to choose from. So you can click on this one, which I actually like this one a little bit more, except for this plant that kind of looks like pencils. And this keyboard looks good, except it doesn't have any letters and it's missing a key right there. Aside from that, the third one, actually I kind of dig the third one, except for that right there. But aside from that, I actually really like this one. And honestly speaking, people aren't gonna notice this, so don't even worry about it. So let's go ahead and keep it. And then let's say, we actually want to get rid of this keyboard just because that right there is kind of annoying. Just click on remove. Once again, highlight what you want to remove, click on remove. And there you go. The keyboard is completely gone. So let's go ahead and keep that. And now all we have to do is just download the image. So that's how you can start making images yours. Of course, this is just one example. You can switch it up. You can make five, six, seven different images, all with your own unique touch that literally nobody else is going to have. Now, the same process that I just did with the cell phone charger can be applied to all of the other products that we've found. So we can do the same thing for this multi-purpose can opener, the shoe glue, and my actual favorite one, this cordless car tire inflator. The reason it's my favorite is because I actually have a flat right now and I'm dreading taking it out. So I might just get this so I don't have to do that. But just as a quick example, let's just go ahead and run through the motions with this one really fast. So this says that there's been over 11,000 sold from my understanding of this particular device. And it's sold by Auto Lifestyle Zone, which has over 100,000 sold. My guess is that this right here just means how many items Auto Lifestyle Zone has sold. On top of that, they have 113,000 reviews. Now this right here, I don't know, that seems kind of sketchy. It doesn't seem very reliable. That, that seems like an insane amount. Like not even Amazon has these kinds of ratings. So I don't know, take that as you will. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it with a grain of salt. Honestly, I trust more the reviews on Ali 
AliExpress. Although looking at the item reviews, it has 51 reviews. This person actually has an image of it. Very good recommend a thank you. I haven't used it, but I believe it's going to great, good product. You see these right here, those are very generic. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm very skeptical about things. So again, take that as you will. But with that being said, let's go ahead and run back over to our inflator, right click, search goods, on AliExpress. Remember, we found it for $22. And this is what we have. So it's being sold for $25. That's not a huge difference. You have one for $15. You have another one for $15, but this one doesn't have very good reviews. This one only has a three star rating. And this one for $21. So I'm just going to check out the first two that I looked at. Now, this one is running for $19.11. Okay, not bad. This is the same exact product, too. So that one's for $19. And then here we have another pretty similar variation. And this one is running for $23.21. So as you can see, we found two different products that are fairly similar to the one we were looking for. And they have good reviews, 4.5 stars, 21 reviews, 72 sold, five star review, 21 reviews, 71 sold, not too bad. And on top of that, this one actually has some pretty quick shipping. This one has 12 day delivery. So Honestly, this is the one I would go with, even if my profits aren't going to be the same. Honestly, it's $23 versus $22. That's the same thing. It's just a dollar difference. All right, so let's go ahead and make this image our own. So once again, we're just going to click on the download button up here for the extension. We're going to look for our image. In this case, we're looking for one without any text on it, which is this one right here. Then we're running back over to Firefly. We're going to upload the new image. Then once we have the image uploaded, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to remove the background. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and insert a background. Now for this one, let's go ahead and put car tires make it simple of course this is primarily to be used to inflate car tires so why not now that looks more like a speaker i don't like that one and this one looks not that good let's click on more now this one i think might be the best one because it actually has something that resembles a tire on the side so you can go with something like this aside from that you can also maybe try something like garage and get one of these types of backgrounds now before we continue any further if you're enjoying this video please make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content so now you have the products you want to sell and you have your very own images that literally nobody else has. So the next thing you need to do is actually just import these products into your store. Aside from that, you also want to replace the images that they have with the ones that you're making. Now, this is how we're going to go about it and make it a lot easier. So for this, we're going to be using AutoDS. And if you don't have access to AutoDS, you can sign up right now for the trial period for just $1. Now, AutoDS is a service as a software. And what it does is pretty much just automate and facilitate our entire drop shipping stores. So in this case, what we're going to do is use it to automate the import process. So right now I'm signed on to my account over at autods.com and all I have to do is click on add products. Now I can go with either single product or multiple products. I'm going to choose multiple products for the simple fact that we're assuming that we're going to be uploading more than one. But in reality, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go with this one. So let's take the link from here and then all you have to do is click on paste and paste it onto this window right here. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is click on add as draft and it'll be ready to sell in your store within seconds. Now, since we're adding it as a draft, it's actually going to go to our draft section down here. As you can see, it's processing the listing and you can see the progress up here. It'll take a few more seconds and then we can make any adjustments that we need. Now, once the item is ready and in our store and imported, all we have to do is click on it right over here where it says click to edit. And then from here, we can make any necessary adjustments. We can go ahead and change the title. If we're selling on Shopify, we can add a 20 collections. We can add any tags to keep track of sales, analytics, whatever we want. You can change the shipping method and you have a bit more information that you shouldn't touch. So the country location is always going to be wherever it's being shipped from. And the same thing with the city. Aside from that, you have the description which quick note, the description as well as the product title can both be optimized with AI directly on these pages. Aside from that, you have the variance tab where you can go ahead and make any adjustments to all of the different variations. So you can change the prices, you can change the names, you can change the variations themselves. You can add or delete variations, whatever you need to do. And then we have our images tab. Now here is where we're actually going to go ahead and change the different images to the ones that we make. So you can simply just check mark and select all of them and remove them and just upload the ones that you made. Now, if you want to keep some of these, that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and select the ones that you don't want, delete them and upload the new ones. Once you're done, you can either click on save to just keep it in your draft section for whenever you're ready to make the listing go live on your store. Or if you're ready to have it live on your store now and start getting some sales or at least start offering it, then you can click on save and import. Once you do that, the item will be live on your store, ready to be purchased. Now, as a quick tip and as a quick note, the images that you edited using AI, or in this case, Adobe Firefly, you can use for more than 
than just uploading them to your store. You can use them in your Facebook ads. The people that see these ads have probably seen the products before, but they've never seen your product images. So these are definitely going to stand out to them. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. That is exactly how you can start using Timu to your advantage for your product research. Remember, if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Timu, and let me know what your takeaway was from this video. What did you learn? Do you plan on implementing it? Do you plan on using Timu as a supplier or simply for product research? Let me know down in the comments below. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, that means you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, my name is Mario with AutoDS. Thank you so much for watching today and catch you all next time.